Shh. All right, so what I want to show you guys how to do is enter in um, some data and then do a linear regression. So I'm going to enter in one, two, three, four, and this is like your X variable. And then we're going to plug in the corresponding Y variables. So that would be, or values, I should say, 6, 10, 16, and 18. And so I want to do a couple of things. I, if I just want to look at these points, I want to plot them, but I don't want any uh, additional graphs. So the first thing I do is I make sure that my uh, Y equals is cleared out, and it is. And so I want to go to the stat plot. So I hit second, stat plot. And I'm going to turn this first one on by hitting enter. The on is flashing, so I'm just going to hit enter. And then by default, it's L1, L2. You could use any list, but that's what we used, and that's what we entered in. And I put the color of blue. And I'm going to use the crosshairs, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. And I like to use the crosshairs. And so that's that. And so now that I have that turned on, one last thing I could do is if I hit zoom, I could go to zoom stat, which is nine. And what that'll do is that'll give me kind of a plot there. Now, if you look at that, um, it looks like a, a straight line. So I would say that that's a linear regression, although it could be a very small snippet of a quadratic reg regression or any regression. But we'll make the assumption that it's a linear regression. So what we're going to do um, to find that regression is we're going to go back into stat and then go to calc. And from here, what I want to do is I'm going to, cho to choose linear regression. And so again, by default, it's L1, L2, although you could assign any list number that you want to. And then come down here, frequency list, we'll make a different um, video for that in a little bit. Now the other thing we could do is this: when we're done with this, it's going to write an equation. And I may want to save that equation in my y equals. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on vars. And then I'm going to use the cursor to go to y vars. I want to enter in a function, so I just hit enter. And I want to store this as y1. Now, if I wanted to store it as y2, I could just put it here as y2. I'm going to put it at y2 just to uh, show you guys that you can put it anywhere you want. And then I go down one more, calculate as highlighted, and I hit highlight. And it's done. Now, the only thing that I don't see is the strength of the regression. I don't see the r squared or the um, r value. And that's because my stats diagnostic has been turned off. So if I click on mode, and I come down here where it says stats diagnostic. Oops, went past it. I can go to the right, and then if I turn that on, now I'll be able to see that. Unfortunately, I got to go back up here to stat and recalculate um, that linear regression. Mathematically, it'll be the same, um, but now it'll give me my R and R squared value. So R is 90.98. That's a pretty strong positive correlation. Um, but now let's look at the graph. So my graph, that 0 0.98, is saying that most of the dots are pretty darn close to the line. I mean, they're pretty close. Um, and so that's it. That's how you would do a linear regression uh, with diagnostics turned on and um, graphing it and plotting it all in one swoop. Okay.